Hey guys, this is Teacher K. Welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today's video is a demo slash review video for Ouija. Since my why for this channel is to help you guys make every moment extra special. So for all the educators out there, since it's already back to school, this video is for you. I mean, as a teacher, making lesson plans is really one of my major challenges. I mean, it's so time-consuming and most of the time perplexing, right? Be honest, I know you can relate. So if you're an educator and you want to be efficient in your lesson planning and you also want to make sure that your students are engaged and are collaborating through your lessons, then I encourage you to check out Ouija. Using Ouija, you can make distance learning and collaboration with classmates and colleagues easy and fun. For educators, you can build lesson plans and schedule courses. You can also design digital syllabus worksheets and organize teaching supplies. Using Ouija, you can also create a web page for a classroom at home. For students, you can keep class notes in order and always on hand. You can create to-dos and reading lists. You can prepare a class or group board and manage weekly agenda, faculty meetings, and so on. So for today's video using Ouija, I will demonstrate to you how to create a lesson plan and how to collaborate through the board. I will also share to you my final thoughts and recommendations regarding this platform. So let's start with how to create a lesson plan. I'll just record my screen right here. So first is you have to register, of course, in Ouija.io. So for the lesson plan, you can click this and you will be able to see all the templates that are available here. So for today's video, I will focus on lesson plan. Let's say science. Right, so you can see there is already a template available for lesson planning. For me, this template is visual. Simple, yes, but it's pleasing to the eyes and the structure itself, how it has been laid out, it makes it less complicated for me. Therefore, because it's less complicated and highly visual, it would then result to less procrastination. Plus, of course, high efficiency. So, it depends on how you structure your lesson plan for, for your institution. But definitely, I see that this is how most of the lesson plan structures are. But definitely, you can edit this one. So general, um, you can type in the grade, let's say grade 10. And then for the topic, let's say the topic would be electricity. Lesson number five, subject is physics. Then you can input the date, of course. And then for the content part, here you can put on the details that are necessary. Like for me, um, I find it so easy to just write agenda here. Like what will I do first? Mm, let's say I'll have, let's say I'll have activity importance of electricity and then I'll have quick introduction and then I'll have a PowerPoint presentation this is just general so you can go as detailed as you want it really depends on you then here you can simply copy paste the learning objectives material needed and then assessment what are the assessments that you want to prepare like example you are going to use your workbook or you will have unit test after that i know you know what to do anyway if you want to duplicate this part all you have to do is select them and there you go you can duplicate it so just duplicate the entire thing and then if i want this to be clear i'll just have to delete and that's so easy okay so now let's move on to collaborating using a board 
actually you can still use the lesson plan but i just want to show you a new board so let's say collab so you will see an empty board and here you can actually add the users by clicking these three dots and you can enter in their email here on this part there then click invite next will be cards how to put cards so to add cards all you have to do is click C on your keyboard or two left clicks so what I did was just click C on my keyboard and this card appeared to duplicate it select it and then the same thing click duplicate there and then to remove cards click and then just click the X and then let's say so you can type anything here right I'll add more cards see here click C I want to connect them just like in mind map so click that one click any of the dots and then connect it to whatever card you want to connect it with this is very handy for mind map activities since you have the freedom to connect things the way you wanted it to be and the good thing about this is that unlike other collaboration platforms this one has a chat option so you can chat with your group mates while you are working on something right here in bg so let's say i'm just gonna put here just do it and then people will see it while they're collaborating with you also in bg they have a feature called list so what the list basically does is that it organizes your cards or your items in just one place so like this one you just have to drag whatever card you want and or item you want over the list for it to be added so this one is also very conveni convenient for mind mapping or structuring your thoughts while you are collaborating by this one you can group your thoughts you can group your ideas using the list and you can even add more lists as long as you want like this one as you can see i can also edit whatever color i would like i have a lot of options to choose from and lastly to create a copy of the board just click the three dots right here and create a copy there you go if you go back to the home page let's see if we have a copy there you go copy of the collab all right so as you can see Ouija is a very straightforward platform that you can use for your lesson planning or even your collaboration time with workmates or with your students if you're looking for smart tools for online education i recommend Ouija. it's not just an online whiteboard but it can also be used by educators in creating their lesson plans using Ouija, you can set big goals and achieve them smarter with fewer efforts all right so what are your questions about Ouija? which feature is your favorite comment your thoughts down below thank you so much for watching this part if you like this video don't forget to like and subscribe see you again next week for more exciting contents once again this is teacher k have a great day bye